All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. Uh, DJ Mikey Mike's all excited. We got a little DJ to go by Newmark. We'll do a little unboxing of this. Uh, you know, see this? Um, sounds from what I'm hearing, this is a pretty amazing uh, piece of equipment. It's only a little tiny little uh, controller. So we're going to do a little unboxing of it. And I'll be back in a few seconds. DJ Mikey Mike, I'll be right back. Oh, all right, here we go. Do an unboxing of this uh, new Newmark DJ to go touch. And let's see, we'll get this open. See what comes in the box. And I watched a couple of videos on this already. You got some stickers. Uh, Newmark DJ to go touch free software from Serato. I'm not knocking Serato, but I do use uh, my specialty, which is um, oh, I got my kitty cat here. I'm sorry. My, my specialty program is uh, <laughs> all right, Princess. Stop. Hang on one second. I'll get this going here and show you what we got here in the box. And I'm going to go back to my uh, my unboxing of this again. And I do not use Serato. You know, I, I used it in the past, and I'm now a virtual DJ user. I know a lot of uh, people are against, vir not against virtual DJ, but there's some DJs out there who say that it's not a true software for DJing and make, they make it too easy because of the sync button, this and that. And as you can see, my kitty cat's here in the scenery. All right, Wilma, come on. And here we go. Here's the Serato DJ to go controller. I'm sorry about that delay about leaving the software that I use. But I have my little princess Wilma jump around here by me. And she's uh, pretty hilarious. She likes to investigate every little thing. As you can see, this is a small, small controller. I'll tell you, this, the motions here are great. And for our pitch control, awesome. Feel the buttons, they're a little stiff. Um, they're not like the rubbery button that you usually feel. We got our master level, our level, load one, load two, our Q, Q levels, our sync button, which now Serato also has. And uh, I'm going to get back to this in a little bit. And I will talk to you in a little bit. I will see you soon. DJ Mikey Mike will be back. Well, I was explaining some of the other videos on YouTube that I've seen about this uh, little mini controller here. Uh, you have your 8-inch jack. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. You're in focus, which goes out to your RCA, which then I would plug into my uh, mixer, my Behringer mixer. And I also have a Yamaha mixer. And then you have a little tiny USB. It's not a micro. I don't even, I think it's a micro USB. I don't know if you can see that or not. Try to get that up there. And this would come back in and plug into your computer, the USB 3. And we're going to test this out in a few seconds. Um, see how it runs. On my virtual DJ again. I know this is for Serato, and I'm gonna want to give it a run through with my virtual DJ. So I will be back in a few seconds. All right, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know if you could see these uh, instructions. I mean, they are printed so so small. It's unbelievable. I mean, I'm blind on one eye. I can't see out of another. Uh, I think they could do a little better. Uh, presentation of their uh, 
instructions and little manual that comes with this. I mean, how much does it cost for an eight and a half by eleven piece of paper? I, again, I'm going to bring this all the way up close to my camera, and this way I might be able to read it going here. So that's a you got a micro USB with the eight pin shack with the RCA. Which I know I could buy adapters for uh, XLR or a quarter inch to go into it. And now I'm going to plug this into my Lenovo, the Legion. And. As you can see, it found a one, two, three. So I'm gonna just click on this, hit OK, and look at my uh, little DJ to go controller here. The fade is it's so nice. It's really nice and smooth for a little mini controller like this. It's unreal. Um, it's going to be a nice controller for doing small little, I guess, like little maybe a graduation party or a wedding. If I'm doing the ceremony instead of bringing out my controller, my big controller for that, and my Lenovo computer, the Legion set, uh, Legion. It's only a 15 points, uh, 5, 6 inch computer. As you can see, this fits right across it. I mean, it's not even 15 inches across. It's it's unbelievable how small this little controller is. I want to get some music queued up, and I don't know if it's going to play through my computer or not. I don't have no external speakers hooked up to it right now, so... We're going to give it a whirl in a second and see what happens. Yeah, I'll be back, all right? All right, well, since I have no external speakers hooked up, you can't hear no sounds or anything coming out of the controller. But it is working fine. Um, it seems like I'm not going to have no problems with this, especially for doing a ceremony. Um, a lot of places around where I live here in Wyoming Valley, you go do the ceremony, you're on a little table, usually they'll set up for you, and you have enough space there for your computer, and possibly, you know, your power strip, that's about it, so this will suit me just fine, you know, it's, a, it's seems going to be like it's going to be a little amazing controller, I have a Bobby Brown queued up there, but as you know, I have no sound come out of it because I don't have my speakers hooked up to it. And as you can see, my princess is in the background again. Um, this seems like it's going to be a great little controller. The jog wheels are nice on it. Yeah, so we're going to see what's going to happen with it. And here's the fader. As you can see, it's going back and forth nice and smooth. They're just boom, boom. I wish I had my uh, external speakers hooked up to it, but I really don't have them, had a chance to hook them up to it. So we're going to maybe do another video on this when I have my speakers hooked up to it. And again, as you can see, my uh, Legion gaming computer is only a 15.6 inch computer. And the Kovac controller just fits right in front there. It's amazing. Totally amazing. So, I hope you enjoyed this little short video. And remember, like, subscribe to DG Mikey Mike's YouTube channel. If you want any more, want any more information on this controller, please send me a little message. Uh, you can check me out on Facebook also. Again, we're going to do another video on this in the near future. And go from there. See how it sounds going through my speakers. All right, ladies and gentlemen, DJ Mikey Mike is out. Hope you enjoy this. Uh, I'm really excited. Have a great day. Remember, practice 
enjoy, stay healthy, stay safe. God bless. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm back one more time. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I heard and I seen in one video and the, the gentleman's question, you know, since you place this little controller on top of your computer, it covers up the mouse uh, pad up there on top. And they said, you know, well, now you don't have no access to your mouse pad up there. And it's going to make it a little harder to type in. As you can see with my crates here, I have set up, you know, top 200, slow dance. Um, I don't have all my hard drives hooked up to it, so you're not going to see all that there. But I have my mouse here, and I could just bounce over to anything I want to go over to. And I won't have no problem just dragging them up and drop them on the deck that I want to play them on. Or hitting a load, load one, load two. It's only a two... Uh, two-channel mixer which you know a four-channel mixer you really don't need two-channel mixer is, is the, the way to go I think that's my honest opinion that's how I feel again this is the DJ to go touch the DJ to go touch so DJ Mikey Mike is out for the second time all right ladies and gentlemen practice enjoy have a great day. Stay healthy. Stay safe. And everybody have a happy, happy new year. God bless.